Okay, so basically... Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine Okay, so hey there guys, welcome back to The Cold Bacon. Today, I'm gonna do this standing up because I don't think I've ever done... Not ever, but I don't think I've done a standing up the Clover Bacon for like the longest time. There's no real reason for it. I just kind of feel like it. Standing up for once. <laughs> uh. Also, it's Halloween. And I'm mad. Every year at Halloween, I get mad. For one simple reason. Companies. <laughs> Companies make me mad. Well, I suppose there's a different C word that I could use to describe why I'm always mad at Halloween, and that's Christmas. It's infectious to companies who force Christmas down your throat when Halloween hasn't even happened yet. Do these companies care about Halloween? Like, seriously, no one cares about Halloween anymore. It sucks. You walk into a shop, and as you walk into the shop, they've got Christmas items on sale, like Coke, Christmas, Harry Boo's, Christmas. And like, maybe, if you're lucky, you'll find a trick-or-treat bag somewhere. Like, why? Why are you shoving Christmas down my throat? I turned on the TV as well the other day. Christmas movies, back to back to back, you got rom-coms and Harry Potter. No, it's not Christmas. It's Halloween! It's Halloween! Not, not Christmas, we're like, how many days off Halloween? We're like, we're on the 27th, right? Yeah, 27th of October, we're like four days off Halloween. And Christmas movies are everywhere. Rom-coms, they're the worst. The acting is so bad. I hate everyone because they're so plain. I can't watch that. Not that I watch much TV anyway, I play video games all the time, or I'm working all the time. So, it's like, it's not like I watch them anyway. But that's not the point. The point is, it's Halloween. Make Halloween about Halloween, not early Christmas. Remember that movie, Nightmare Before Christmas, where Halloween invades Christmas? K yeah. Let, let, let that happen for real. Let Halloween take over Christmas for a change, rather than Christmas constantly taking over Halloween. Hate you. Hate you. Not you. Not you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no, I got my face on the wall. There's like, I'm not sure if you could see it on the camera, but there's a slight darkened patch there where, where, where my face made contact with the wall. Uh, but yeah, I know I've been terrible with my videos lately. I always am. This past year and a half or so, uh, I've just been really terrible with my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know, I'm not as uh, dedicated to it as I once was. I want to be, but I've just got stuff that I'm doing and stuff that I'm wanting to do. And YouTube just isn't as much of a something that I want to do as it used to be. Like, I, I, I would just, I just sit down and play video games almost all the time, or do work around the house. I don't have an actual job. Uh, funnily enough, when I did have an actual job, I was actually better at maintaining my YouTube channel, which makes no sense, but it worked. Um, but yeah, so what's been happening since I've been gone? The Fortnite event happened. That that was a thing. I'm not as in your face this time. I'm, I'm stood away from the camera a bit. Changes things up. But yeah, the Fortnite event happened, the end. And I didn't get in, because the servers were shite. And that's just the long and short of it. So I, I managed to watch the lobby event, which is like nowhere near as exciting by any means. But at least it was something. I really wanted to experience the actual event for myself, because it looked really, really, really cool. 
and I keep watching it over and over again, and now that map's gone. Season 2 started. Season 2 seems alright. Uh, yeah, it seems alright. I'm getting used to the new map and all that. Like, the new weapon system as well, slightly different. The entire game had a bit of an overhaul. Bots are in there now. I actually got my first solo victory in Fortnite today. Like, for Chapter 2, that is. Not overall, I've got like 26 uh, solo victories. I really need to get another one, just so I can say I have 27. <laughs> I really want to be able to say I have 27. But I, I haven't been playing solo, like, properly at all since the season started, because I always just play with either in a duo or a squad. Which, I got like a squad and a duo win day one, but I only ever play solo when I just need to do challenges and everyone else is offline and I just, yeah, do the challenge. Um, but yeah, also Modern Warfare came out, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and it's actually quite sick. Like, I ha like Infinity Ward haven't made a good Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2. As far as I'm aware. And I didn't even get to play Modern Warfare 2 when it came out. So I missed out on that. So I've always seen Infinity Ward as the company that made Ghosts and Infinite Warfare. And I did skip over Modern Warfare 3 because for me Modern Warfare 3 was a game I didn't like because I was far more into zombies back then. I literally didn't touch multiplayer in Black Ops 1. So when Modern Warfare 3 came about I played it. But... It wasn't my cup of tea at all because, again, I was a Zombies player exclusively at the time. Uh, although that all changed with Black Ops 2, really. Uh, but yeah, no, Infinity War, and also with Ghosts and Infinite Warfare, they added their own bonus modes, which were pretty bad. But this game, they actually haven't made a bonus mode for this one. Like, I mean, sure, you could say Spec Ops, but... No, they haven't. They've actually put effort into what they're good at instead. <laughs> also, apparently a whole bunch of the team that split off before Modern Warfare 3 came out came back to make this one. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. Like, I've grinded out a little bit for the past couple days. And, like, I started playing it Friday. Come Saturday night, I already have my first gold gun. Uh, because I grinded it out. I really like the new camo system, like, it's a massive change up from what they've been doing for the past couple of years, because they've all just been sticking to the get 100 headshots and then do 5 camo challenges, although it might not be that way with uh, Infinite Warfare or Ghosts, I don't remember how the camo challenges worked in those games, because I didn't really play them uh, much. but. That's regardless of the point. But yeah, it's it's an interesting camo system and an interesting creator class system in general. It is a nice change up from the usual pick 10. Uh, it's like pick 5 per weapon sort of thing it's got going on. But it's like each attachment comes with pros and cons, which I think is quite cool. And it's like, there's so many attachments though and so many levels. Uh, although at the moment I seem to be experiencing several bugs and glitches here and there. Nothing too game-breaking, but things that are mildly infuriating. Uh, such as, I'll have unlocked a camo. Uh, I'll have done the challenge to unlock a camo, but the camo will still be locked. But the progress bar for the challenge will actually go past the unlock point, where literally, I, I literally put a picture on my Twitter where it showed the progress bar literally went off screen because of how far past the actual challenge I'd completed. <laughs> it's it's quite weird. I have no idea why that glitch exists, but it exists. Also, I seem to be experiencing a weird glitch with some of my other weapons where the camos aren't even showing me what challenges I'm supposed to be doing for them properly at all, and I keep finding myself not earning any XP for my weapons when I get kills. Like, I got three back-to-back -back kills with a knife earlier today, and I haven't gained a drop of XP for it, which really sucks. Um, but yeah, and also a few challenges for some reason, a few like the daily and the mission challenges for multiplayer won't progress at all. I haven't played the campaign yet, like we're on day three, this is Sunday, 
and I haven't touched the campaign at all. Um, I'm gonna make a video on it. I mean, I put up a poll on Twitter saying, "Does anyone anyone want to see me play it?" No one, no one wanted. No, no, everyone said nah. I mean, only two people voted, and one person voted nah just because they wanted to see what the voting was looking like. So technically, only one person properly voted nah, and even then, I don't even know. They could have just done it as a joke. But yeah, no, no one really voted much in that poll. But I'm going to do it anyway. Also, gold camo. I mentioned I got gold camo already on one gun. I got it on the 1911. Just because I'm a classic Zombies player. So I had to grind the 1911. Like, I just know it is the M1911. Like, oh, back in Black Ops 1, just spawn in with the 1911 all silver. <sighs> like, also the mastery camos. They, I, can't, I don't know what to think about them. Gold, it doesn't just turn your gun gold, it puts weird writing on it and it looks kind of weird. It's nice, but it's weird. Um, platinum is replacing diamond, which just looks like copy-paste of chrome camo, but with a few weird scuffs on it here and there. Um, but it's like, it's a bit of a change up from diamond, and... Then the replacement for Dark Matter called Damascus. It looks sick. It's not animated, it's not glowing, it's not a special special camo. It's just a nice shiny camo that is blue and got orange mixed in there, it's got a few colours in there. It's weird, but it's really cool and it's really clean. And I don't know why I really like it, but I really like it. Also, the amount of camos you can get in general is like. It's really quite nice, the amount of camos you can just earn. And um, what is my phone doing? Yeah, it's really nice, like, all the camos you can earn. You can earn up to 103 camos per gun. And it's like, they look quite nice. Like, there are only 10 different challenges you have to do. And then there's the completionist set as well. And it's like, it is quite a nice setup. I really do like the way they've done camos for this Call of Duty. Um, also with the attachments, it's quite grindy in a sense. And yeah, it's fun. I actually haven't finished Dark Matter in Black Ops 4 yet. Which I know is like, I'm now switching over to the previous game. But it's like, that's just what I'm going to bring up now. I haven't finished Dark Matter in Black Ops 4 yet. But I have finished everything except for SMGs and ARs, and I'm, like, I think I got two uh, SMGs in gold, and I'm on the challenge covers for another SMG, and I'm working my way through another, another SMG until I unlock the SMG that I got the challenges for. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm about halfway through the SMGs, and then I got the ARs to do, but I'm probably not going to touch Black Ops 4 at least multiplayer wise for maybe a month or two purely on the basis of Modern Warfare is a new thing and it's pretty much all about multiplayer and it, it's just quite nice to play it's new, it's refreshing also the Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted Halloween DLC came out I played quite a bit of that it's fun it's difficult Except for the plushkin patch mode, if you know what that is. It's annoying as hell and I hate it. Uh, I didn't record any of it, by the way. Uh, but the hallways, the hallways mission, that was terrifying but fun at the same time. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, then you, you know what I'm talking about, I guess. I'm going to wrap up here because I need to edit this and upload this before I forget that my YouTube channel exists for another week. Uh, <laughs> And also, I need to edit out the parts where I go completely ballistic because there there are a few things that I got to edit out of this that that are just me being a little bit extra weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching another one of my insane rambles. Also, there may be a bit of choppy editing because I'm gonna move my rant about Halloween to before me talking about Fortnite and Call of Duty. Just because I feel like that'll be more interesting and people will be more likely to click away if I open with me talking about video games like I always do. I, I would, yeah, I would rather 
open with me talking about Halloween, so I'm just going to edit that around. Don't know why I'm telling you this, because, I mean, you've already seen the video if you're seeing this bit. But I, w I will tell you this anyway, because, you know, I have, I have no reason not to. I can do what I do what I like, really, and you can't stop me. You may think that you can, but you, well, you probably can if you, you know, made an effort. Like, I mean, even if you just wrote a comment and told me this is not what you want and you want something else, then th that, that would stop me well enough and fine, sure. But I'm going to wrap up here because I'm going close to the camera. So, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Bye.